y'all welcome back to my channel i'm muriel this nurse muriel to my new subscribers hey how y'all doing welcome to the channel thank y'all for hitting the subscribe button to my oldies but goodies welcome back y'all already know thank y'all for tuning in again i saw on the last video it worked when i said if you like this content hit the subscribe button so i'm gonna say it again i gotta get in the habit of saying that if you like what you see if you watched the video and you made it through halfway whatever but you enjoyed the content go back and hit that subscribe button or you can go ahead and hit it now and you'll know every time i upload also hit the like button y'all know when y'all come into somebody's house knocking on the door is like hitting the like button so when you come to the videos just hit the like button let me know you, you came by even if you don't leave a comment let me know you stopped by so y'all i am heading to burlington uh, my daughter i told y'all she started working well she um well, she's on her feet at her job and so we got to get her some comfortable shoes she said her feet were hurting um yesterday was her first like full day actually performing the job and so y'all know me y'all know what kind of shoes i believe in after nursing for 20 something years I, I live for my sketchers so i'm going to take her to see if we can find her a pair of sketchers uh she said if they if you know if they work and she don't have the pain, you know, as bad or whatever, then she'll continue to stay full-time on the job. Her back and her feet were hurting, then she'll probably drop down to part-time. Yeah, we about to head to Bronson, y'all. Pray I don't spend no money, because I really don't have it to spend. I finally, finally made the last payment on um, vehicle number one. Finally got rid of that car payment, y'all. I was so excited. Um, so they're going to mail me my title. And now we just got to work on this one right here, knocking this one down. Y'all know I just got this vehicle in June. It's not a brand new vehicle. It's a used vehicle, but it's a Honda. Y'all know Hondas hold their value. So it was, you know, it the price was still, the price was still pricing. So, um, yeah, we're going to try to knock this one out the way now. So I'm going to take that extra money I'm saving by not having that car payment. We're going to throw all that to this car payment. My goal is to have this car, pay, car paid off by the end of summer. So we are at March. My goal is to have it paid off by August. Um, and we'll see how that goes. I worked yesterday, y'all. Okay, the other day at work, I have been on my job now for, it's been 60 days, y'all. I have officially been on my new job for 60 days as of the 17th of March. And so I just wanted to give a little um, synopsis of what I think about the job. I had to charge the other day, y'all. Now, let me tell y'all, these charging positions, these supervisory positions, the unit manager positions, I was always against becoming a unit manager on a job because I feel like the unit manager, whenever you be going go in any type of management, I feel like they try to pull, they try to make you do two or three jobs at once. So if you're a unit manager and they're short, they're going to want you to get on the cart, but then they're going to want you to also still fulfill your unit manager jobs and so that can be a lot when you having to work the cart two days out of the week and you only got three days to do your main unit manager job things fall behind but they still get on you about it okay so as far as, as far as charging nursing i think they say it's extra two dollars an hour two dollars an hour y'all unit managing is usually an extra like two dollars an hour on a lot of jobs sometimes three okay i work 12 hour shifts so after i after i charged that day y'all it wasn't bad but it was annoying because people come to you with everything. Everything is on you to make sure the floor is running how it's, appro how it's supposed to run. And um, I'm talking about in the type of facility I work. I work with an apartment of mental health. So the, the lodge that day was like for me, even though my nurse manager was there, I had to run the floor. And it's not worth the $2 an hour to me. It's not worth the $24 a day because that's all it essentially comes out to be is extra $24 for you to have to go out there and make sure people are doing the job that they get paid to do. I'm going to come back, y'all. We're walking in Burlington. I'm going to tell y'all what I think about it. But let's go in here. Okay, y'all. These are them in pink and gray. These are so cute, but they are seven and a half, and she don't wear seven and a half. They got them in eight and a half in the gray and pink, too. Okay, let's see. Oh, y'all, I'm looking for me. These are cute. Okay. 
think those are so cute. I got so many shoes though. Lord, I don't need to buy no more shoes. Y'all know I don't need to buy no more shoes. Anyways. Oh, these are some cute flats. I think they, oh, those are cute. I like having my toes out in the summer though. Like, I never did show y'all my toes. So the color, it kind of matches up. When you're looking at it from like here, it matches. And we're going with the gray and pink, y'all. Now, why are all these shoes on the floor? I don't have you in the frame. No, I have the shoes. Why are these shoes on the floor, y'all? people do this because if y'all did y'all should be ashamed going back to my conversation so when you're working like as a unit manager and for those of you interested in long-term care just you know bear with me I'm, I'm speaking truth so when you're working as a unit man how'd I go to working as a unit manager lord okay I was talking about my 60 days so I worked as the charge nurse the other day which meant I was over Making sure everybody was doing what they were supposed to do. Um, basically, that's it. And over the paperwork, y'all, it like I told y'all in another video, it's like 28 damn pieces of paper that you got to kind of keep up with. And that was the key confusing part for me. I have no problem, you know, getting people to do their job because I'm just going to, well, I don't have a problem getting people to do their job. My problem is that I have to ask you to do your job. That's my problem, especially when your job is the same every day. It's redundant. And where I work, people aren't, um, like, they're not really incontinent like that. If they do, or if they are incontinent, just about everybody is ambulatory. I think everybody where I work is ambulatory. So, it's nothing for them to go and take a shower with just some standby assist or whatever. People are incontinent at times on my job because they choose to be incontinent, um, to be honest. So, it's not like, um, you don't even have to be a CNA to work where I work. You, They call them BHAs, Behavioral Health Assistants. But if I have to keep asking you to do your job, then that's a problem for me. A lot of Some of them are younger than me. Some of them are older than me. So, why do I have to? I shouldn't have to ask you to do your job, and um, and then keeping up with the and keeping up with the paperwork and filling out the paperwork. I mean, it's not a real problem, but it's like when you're the charge nurse, everybody's gonna come to you for everything. If somebody comes on the lodge and needs something done, or you know, they're gonna be like, "Who's your charge nurse for the day?" All the phone calls that come in, it's like you're taking charge of answering the questions that need to be asked. And it's not worth two dollars an hour to me. I mean, that's $24 a day. And y'all, let's be completely honest. You could stay over half an hour and make that same money and not be charged. Just not be the charge nurse. Just be the second nurse for the day or just be like the med nurse. You could just stay over 30 minutes and make that money with less headache. Um, the second nurse, she's in charge of like trying to get the labs and stuff like that but then if she's not able to get the labs because we do draw our own blood if she's not able to get the labs then you go and help her in you know you go help her or the men nurse go help her like so you know, it's not like you're not your only charge and you're doing everything and it's not worth the 24 dollars to me and 24 times three is what 72 dollars so that's an extra 72 dollars a week it's not worth it not in my opinion it's not worth it so i could i could never be charged and be fine with that never be in the charge nurse but they wanted me to learn it because i'm in the bedroom all the time they wanted me to learn um how to be the charge nurse because we had an incident where i was the only nurse on that lodge that day that was staff for that lodge and they had to pull a nurse from another lodge and i wanted to go in the bedroom and so that nurse he worked as the charge nurse and it was just a little uncomfortable i guess because he really don't he don't know the patients i do so they wanted that nurse to go in the med room and wanted me to be charged. But I mean, I didn't, I really didn't know how to be charged at that point. I didn't because I never concentrated on that and I didn't want to be charged. So I told them after I did my day of charge, I was like, y'all just, I'll be the second nurse or just put me in the med room. Two days in the med room, back to back, I could do when it comes to the third day. That's when I probably have a problem. But I don't have a problem being in the med room. So I worked in the 
who on um, those of you who are going like in long-term care when they get these unit manager positions if they ain't giving you like four to five dollars extra an hour for doing it which that equals out to a 50 or what 48 to about 50 50 55 dollars more a day it's not worth being a unit manager because you'll be the unit manager until you short a nurse then you're going to be working the cart or whatever your unit manager duties was that day they're going to still expect you to handle those and it's, it's never worth it to me so where i did supervisor i would do supervisor on a weekend because to be honest the supervisor does get paid more so when i stop being the supervisor when I gave up my supervisory position, they dropped my pay four dollars an hour, um, because I just wanted to be a, just a floor nurse and long term care. They dropped my pay four dollars an hour, so I just you know went back agency. But then they offered um, PRN staff more money, so it ended up putting my I went PRN and it ended up putting my pay two dollars more an hour than what i was making as a mm -hmm. as a um every other weekend supervisor yeah so in my opinion it's just not worth it to be a unit manager um the only thing that makes it appealing to me is that you aren't working the cart in long-term care you won't be you won't be working the cart full-time as the unit manager now my prn i think my prn job is the most laid-back facility i've ever worked in long-term care because let me tell you, the unit managers there don't do much because, I don't know, they just don't do much. You know, a part of a unit manager job is to make sure the labs are done and make sure the labs are put in the lab book and that they are done. Appointments are set up and scheduled and transportation is set up. Like all the like almost ancillary work that needs to be done for the residents, the unit manager is in charge of that. The unit manager is in charge of making sure, like if you have a facility, like that charting is done, that the CNAs and the nurses are doing their charting. Um, sometimes they make rounds, not often, sometimes they make rounds with the mm -hmm. doctors when the doctors come in and make rounds. They, mm -hmm. they just basically make sure like the work that the nurse, the floor nurses and the CNAs are supposed to be doing, they do it. They have the one-on-ones with the, um, you know, they handle like family complaints a lot of time they'll go to the unit manager first and then they'll go to the DON or whatever the unit managers usually work Monday through Friday but like I said unless they're getting paid cause, and matter of fact I said $50 but unit managers normally work like an 8 to 4 they don't do 12 hour shifts so them eight hours at an extra five dollars an hour is extra forty dollars a day forty times five is extra two hundred a week that's worth it that's worth it when i break it down like that because you're normally coming monday through friday you're not doing three twelves so that's worth it two hundred dollars a week that's eight hundred dollars a month but that's only if you're going to get five dollars an hour difference for a unit manager and i have never met i've never worked a place where they gave the unit manager a whole five dollars shift differential an hour if that's the case people be beating down the door to be unit managers the most i've known for a unit manager to get is like three dollars which three if you're working eight hour shifts three times eight is 24 24 times five is what a hundred and what three what's 24 times five a hundred 120 dollars so 120 dollars a week i mean that's still good because that's still 480 dollars a month so um you know it's just you gotta see if it's worth it but i went around all this to say that i'm 60 days in on my job and i think i, I think i can stick with it y'all there are some this very like is so it's not so disorganized but i can tell that they've had a lot of lawsuits because when i tell you they dot their eyes they dot their eyes like three times they cross their t's like three times the excessiveness and charting and putting things here there 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 and i can see why because i went to work the other day and um you know labs had to be drawn and no one was able to get the person and this and it went on this is going on for like three weeks now no one's been able to get this person blood so i was like at what point do we send out for help to get the person blood because no one's able to get it not because the patient won't allow but we're not able to get them the person is a hard stick so at what point do y'all outsource this type of work because in my eyes that's negligence i mean in my eyes that's negligence we've never allowed that um in long-term <laughs> care if someone is a hard stick 
somehow that blood is going to get taken even if we have to send the person out to the hospital so i always thought government run facilities and government things were better for patients but i'm starting to find out and um, prior is far and more it's not it's not things when one plus one ain't and making two i have an eye for just little detail stuff i have an eye for that and it's probably because i'm such a detail person from long-term care that it passes on to everywhere i work um so i've seen some things that were mistakes um uh, yeah um yeah that's all i'm gonna say i can't i don't want to say too much i don't want the people they don't know i nobody on my job knows i have the channel and i don't want them to fire me oh, they can easily find out. well they don't know so they they don't know they wouldn't even know to look me up for a youtube channel because they don't know i have a channel people I'm, I'm speaking the truth i ain't saying nothing to break nobody hipaa violations or nothing like that i'm just saying how things how things have been <laughs> in my experience i've still got like 30 modules to do i try to do a little bit every day and i think i knocked out when i came on i came on with automatically like 30 modules to do and now those have expired those are overdue and i've been assigned more so every day i work i try to knock out like about four or five modules but it just seems like they just keep adding up because they add more modules every month i don't know when i'm a and they they will have to approve the overtime for me to come in and do it on my day off. And one thing I'm not going to do that a lot of the people say they do is they work on it from home. I'm not doing no work from home for no pay. I'm sorry, y'all. We'll have to approve some overtime or take one of my days that I'm scheduled to come in and work a shift and just let me do modules that whole day. Like the shift is, our shift is over, report is given and everything like about 7.15, but we have to stay a mandatory till eight o'clock. And so I use that time to work on modules and in 45 minutes, I'm able to knock out about four modules. Um, the other night when I stayed, I was knocking out a care plan and it took, you know, they said once you get better at it, the care plan will take like 30 minutes, but I'm so meticulous with my care plans that I'm I'm writing like I'm putting in like lab values and I'm actually looking up what a patient's blood pressure has been for the last 30 days before I say a goal was met if the patient has a parameter that they wanted the blood pressure to remain below 140 over 80 and I see one blood pressure that was 142 over um 78 then the parameter wasn't met so I'm that detailed and it's probably a it's a problem I know that's a problem with me but that is how I am and it'll work for my favor if I ever get called for a deposition but so um yeah I try and I'm only there three days a week so let's say I get three days a week and I can knock out sometimes three to four modules a day but then y'all keep adding them every month I don't I don't know when it's I'm, I don't know when I'm ever get done with them but I like the job but I can honestly say I do plan to go down to part time two days a week as long as I keep my benefits and my insurance I do plan to go to part-time. I don't know if it's going to be this year or the first of next year. But, yeah, I'm um, knocking these bills out. Once I get these bills knocked down, y'all, because my, my my kids working, so they can pick up some of the little little small bills at the house. So once I get to knocking some of these bills down, like I knock one car out, I'm going to knock another car out this year. I'm going to try to knock these credit cards out this year. Once I get all this stuff knocked out, y'all, I'm, I'm definitely going to drop down to part-time two days a week and focus more on my trash business which is going good i talked to my guy and i told him we're not taking any more clients it's a wrap we're not taking no more because i know he don't see number dollar signs but his with his with his eyes with his mind is thinking and his eyes is seeing his body ain't putting in the work like that so we're gonna stop where we are and we're just gonna let that build i'm considering switching over our savings account my business savings account um, from the account it's in now to switching it over to a money market account because right now our interest rate is like three it was supposed to be 3.25 but I see it's at 3.44 but the money market account the interest rate is at 4.8 percent and so that's just more money <laughs> so I may go and do that next week I may go ahead um, the only thing is you got to keep a minimum balance of five thousand dollars it has to have a minimum balance of five thousand dollars and you know so far so good we you know definitely exceeded that so 
So there's not really much else I can really say about the job. I'm, you know, I'm good on it. I got my boss. I asked her, um, because the weekend, you know, the one Saturday and Sunday, it was kind of messing me up with my business because that's when I usually had time to really handle, like, new clients and doing all that. I got so many contracts that I need to get signed from new clients and I haven't been able to get them to sign it. And we got one client now who's trying to hold our trash can and won't respond. He doesn't, they don't put the trash can out to get collect the trash out to get collected because as soon as they do, we're gonna take our trash can. They haven't paid in three months, but they're not responding to our request to get our trash can back. And so, you know, just things like that I need I need to get up on, I need to get and then the downfall with that is I never got that client to sign a contract, you know, because I just, yeah, so I need to get all my clients to sign a contract. I need to really research DocuSign for one so that they can sign these things online. That's what I need to get. But, you know, we just like a hometown, you know, low country neighborly feel to the company like it's small. Like I don't. I'm not trying to build no big old conglomerate. Like, I'm not trying to be waste management or we're not trying to do all that. I just, we just want, we're just trying to put some money up for retirement. And then if our kids decide that they want to keep doing it, you know, we do make them, we do make enough income to say if one of our kids wanted to take over the business, it could sustain their household. Like, it's enough to sustain one household, the income that we make. Um, but it's not enough to say it's going to sustain three and four households, but it's enough to either sustain a household, meaning it can pay all the bills in a household. Um, and the person wouldn't have to work anywhere else. It's we make enough in a month to pay all the bills in a household. If you have just, you know, a regular household with regular bills, it could sustain that or it's an, or how we're using it as it's enough money to build monthly to have a nice little you know a nice little nest egg for when you retire um and it's one of the reasons why i probably will be able to drop down to two days a week because even though i won't be able to save money personally save money dropping down to two days a week because what i'll be making will be enough just to you know what i'm saying to sustain the bills that i'm paying in my household and then possibly once i get because y'all know i want to get me a mobile home to you know help pay some of those bills over there um the trash business will still be savings and still be money to help save for you know whatever whatever and then say if none of my kids want to take it over we can honestly sell this business i can see us selling this business to somebody for not a big old payday or nothing like that but for the income that it does generate i can see us selling this business for about and the supplies thirty forty thousand dollars because of the income that it generates um in a year i feel like if i sell to sell the business i will need it to i will need to make at least a year's worth of profit in the sales so i say about thirty thousand dollars i could we could sell the business um but you know we're not looking at that right now but if it ever gets to the point where he just don't want to do it no more his body is wearing down he's not able to get out there and do it like he you know whatever whatever we can always you know like i said sell the business and have that little money to put up too for a little nest egg but y'all i'm talking about nest egg like me and this man married or something anyway um <laughs> yeah so anyway that's the end of this video i hope y'all enjoy i be rambling y'all i really just be rambling rambling and this one of them videos when i went from point a to point m and then back to point h and but that's how my mind work i tell y'all i think i really do think i got um not attention to deficit disorder i really think i'm a little hyper and I, I, I realized that I started realizing that about myself a few years ago because I was like as much as I used to move from place to place to place to place y'all when I was younger in my 20s and 30s child I'm me and my kids would move into three different houses in one year because my mind would get so bored or whatever with the place I'm at and I want to move somewhere like we moved a lot in the same little city that we lived in but it was very rare that I stayed in one house a full year and as I got older, 
And even after I bought this house and I realized after being in this house two years, I was ready to leave it. That's when I realized, yeah, you got a problem. You got a problem. So, yeah, I don't know what you call that, but yeah, I got, a, I got problems. But anyway, y'all, hope y'all enjoyed this video and I will see y'all on the next one. Bye.